Hey guys, so I'm back in New York, I'm back home, and I had a really, really good time in Japan, and I kind of just wanted to wrap the video up, showing you some of the things I got. I got a lot of stuff for myself and gifts. I'm probably not going to show the gifts because I pretty much handed all of them out already, but I will show you the things I got for myself. So, I was able to find an OLED switch in Nakano Broadway, and... Along with the Switch, I went to Book Off and I got some Nintendo games that I didn't have before. So, well, okay, most of them I didn't have, but I got Animal Crossing to play on an OLED. So, I got Mario Kart, um, Link Deluxe. I decided to switch to a voiceover, and so the other games that I got from Nakano Broadway were... I don't know what it says in Japanese. But I'll put it on the screen um, what it is in English. This game actually turned out to be a bust because I couldn't play it in English. I also got ARMS and I'm just showing you the Animal Crossing um, that I got. The next item were these Animal Crossing New Horizon Amiibo cards and I did show them previously in one of the vlogs when I was at the capsule hotel but I just want to show you again like the full set of them I got so many if you watched my week 3 vlog then you probably already know that my book hunting was for the most part unsuccessful because most of the manga in Japan is in Japanese um, and the ones that are in English are just as expensive as in the US okay so I bought these pens this first one is actually a highlighter which I didn't realize when I bought it but I'm not mad at it and then the rest are just you know regular ballpoint pens I I think I think actually some of them aren't ballpoint but they have like this like really fine tip and it writes like so nicely and so small these first three especially I love them I haven't really used this blue one yet but um so far I've loved all the pens and stationery that I bought in this bag that I bought from Amazon I have all of my Copic markers that I bought and I bought a ton of Copic markers so before going to Japan I probably had maybe like 15 10 ish markers this is how many i have now i also have posca pens in there i bought a couple colors and i bought a couple liners i am literally obsessed with these markers like i love them <laughs> like they're just so smooth and nice and cheap compared to how much i paid for them in the u.s so that was great. I actually got these from Joyful Honda in Fusa, but I'm pretty sure any Joyful Honda sells them. And yeah, it was cheaper than Itoya Ginza and like other places that I saw. I got these Copic replacement nibs for when I need to refill my markers. And I played so much gotcha that I just ended up getting a whole bunch of different like tags and like keychains. I really love Spy Family, so I have a whole bunch of Anya things. I have this My Hair Academia figurine, but it's more like a keychain. Um, I got Gone, and I also got some I I don't know little line friend kind of things. This was probably my favorite thing that I won, which was uh, Bakuga, like slouching or sleeping is like the theme of it. And then I also got this Kuromi in her little maid Afe. She's so cute. I got this Chikawa like little figurine, but I'm so mad at myself because when I was in Hokkaido, at the airport they had the chikawa friends basically in like airport attire like flight attendants and stuff and now i want it <laughs> um i got these pins um there's endeavor and anya <laughs> 
This is a hibiscus magnet that I got in Hawaii. And a hibiscus keychain. This is a cute little pin. It's supposed to be like the Hawaii license plates. And I think it's so cute with the little rainbow. Uh, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna put it on like a bag or something with my other pins. I bought these pens at Hokkaido University. Um, I don't know why I bought two of them, but I haven't used them. I just kind of wanted them because they said Hokkaido University on them, and I thought that was cute. <laughs> I showed these in the vlog too. I had such a hard time deciding which of these to get. These are like for your phone, but I, my phone case doesn't have a place for me to put a charm. But I got the horse one because I liked the animals. I saw like sheep and stuff on the university campus and I got the gimpo leaf one because I thought those were cute. I wanted to get one for like my major because they had like ones like that. But I didn't really see one that gave engineering or civil engineering and so I pass on those ones. Moving on to the puzzles. I bought these at Joyful Honda and honestly these were so fun to make so you could buy them uh they were like just one puzzle or three puzzles stuff like that or two puzzles in like a box and they come with like sheets to help you make them as well and honestly they're just like so fun to make i also bought this one it's like a figurine puzzle like almost like legos but like it was it was different like i'll show you the pieces One of the first games that I played on the original Wii was Pikmin and when I went to the Nintendo store I had to get these like this is like the little monster from Pikmin and you could put your hand inside of it and then also this is like one of the new Pikmin um, that is in the Pikmin 4 game I think and then I got this one it's like a, a holder for your pencils and stuff that you can put on your desk. I also got some Animal Crossing New Horizon plushies. I got this little frog. I think her name is Lily and she is so cute. At Sun Solji, I wanted to get something for my friend and so I saw this little um, incense shop and so she had these plates and these like beads where you put the incense inside the middle and just let it burn and I thought that was so cute so I bought one for myself and for my best friend. This is the pocket watch that I ended up getting from Alice in Wonderland. It's one that has a keyhole so I could kind of see the design even when it's closed and it has Alice and the rabbit inside and it's so cute but I just don't have I don't wear things where I would need a pocket watch or you know fit a pocket watch. I bought this necklace it's I thought it was like more of a pentagram but it's giving star of David and I don't know if it's appropriate for me to wear that since I'm not Jewish so yeah I bought these cool pieces of cloth because I was getting into embroidery and cross stitch I don't know so much about cross stitch but I like embroidery so I think I'm gonna keep going and I brought like the yarn for it too which was good. I bought those from Daiso and they were so cheap. Like ugh, Daiso is amazing in Japan because in the US it's not as big, at least in New York. And so uh, they don't have these things. I also got an extra holder from Daiso. And so I decided that I was going to try a whole bunch of different things. And so this was an embroidery kit that I found. I also got this one from a different store this one's cross stitch and i also got tons of needle felting kits they had like different difficulty levels from like easy to hard so i was like i'm gonna start off low and work my way up i tried this little ring like one which was supposed to be like super easy 
and let me tell you it's hard I think it's partially because I didn't have all the correct tools but like it was not as easy as I thought it was going to be so I don't know if I'm even going to get to things like that bird over there and I bought the like little needle felting needles it was like this place in Hokkaido I bought some from Daiso as well I think maybe yeah Moving back over to the things I bought at Sakaido, I think this is supposed to be a plushie of a mountain. I'm not sure, but I thought it was cute, so I bought it. I also bought this little, it's like a sticker pack where you can write your little notes on and then rip it off and like leave it. I kind of thought that I was going to be like a book girly and like take notes. Mm, I did not. So I just been using them for like random notes that I want to take. Then there's the stamps. I bought like a lot of stamps but I realized after the fact that most of the stamps that I got were like in this these set kind of things and so I couldn't like take them out and do them individually and it was just weird like I couldn't really change the color of these ones so I thought I was getting like a whole bunch of cute small stamps that I could like do in like different colors and stuff but it's actually just like the color that they come in which is not bad but I I bought like the ink pads because I thought that I was gonna be able to have diversity um so now I have to like get more stamps or I want to get more stamps I, I don't have to this was one of the stamps that I got that I can actually use with the pads and I believe this is Yoroshiku which I think means nice to meet you but I'm not sure what context this is in this is in because she looks like she's like handing you a cup but it was super cute when I stamped it in pink and I think I this is like a stamp I would use <laughs> This Miffy stamp was also self-inking, but it was cute. And the words say, Gamba tane, which means, I think you did good. It took me a few tries to get the right pressure for this one, but it's like a sleeping Miffy, which is cute. I sucked at the crane games and I didn't win much, but the little otter that I won, I gave to my godson who is two so it made a cute little gift. 